head coach Mike Mincy. Your team struggled in the first half, but was still able to come back and get that win against Newberry, a very tough defensive team. What was it that you saw in the turnaround from that struggling first half into the second? Well, you know, um, I mean, two things in particular happened. Jekka got in foul trouble, and of course then Micah, who was three or four from the field at that point, got in foul trouble. And got, both of them only got to play eight minutes in the first half. Of course, Wyckoff picked up two. So foul trouble was key in the first half. And uh, we started out pretty good there early in the first quarter scoring. And then these guys kind of got ugly. I mean, Newberry always plays great defense. Uh, uh, that first quarter is the best thing that could happen to our basketball team, uh, especially with an undefeated season going, all that kind of stuff. Uh, to, to play that poorly, we were 0 of 9 from the three. We're averaging 11 a game right now. Um, that was the biggest key in the, fir in the first half. Second half, we got to the free throw line a lot more. Still didn't shoot the ball well. We were 2 of 18 total from the three, 37% um, from the field. So to play as poorly as we did, especially shooting the ball and come away with a victory, uh, it's the best way to learn without getting a, picking, up, picking up at a loss. Michael Wester and Harris Price combining for 46 points. How important was it to have them really step up with it being pretty slow in the first half to really turn things around later on? Well, you know, when we talked about this is going to show a lot of our character um, coming out in the second half. We were down by two. You know, we typically average about 25 points a quarter versus the, the entire half. And, and, you know, he's going to show me what they were made of. And uh, I was very pleased in the second half. We didn't play well, but obviously Harris was huge, getting to the rim, making some shots. I told him at one point in time, you got to get the ball to Micah because she's a shot maker. And right now they're making us make shots instead of getting stuff at the rim. Um, very proud of how they came out and played. Of course, both of them were phenomenal from the free throw line. You talked about the team uh, scoring average, and that second quarter was really tough. The lowest points the team has put up in that second quarter. What struggles did you see in that frame that you think the team can really improve upon going forward? Well, I didn't feel like we were moving. We had some weird lineups on the floor that aren't used to playing with each other because of foul trouble. Uh, we weren't passing and cutting like we typically do. Newberry was doing a fant fantastic job of not allowing us to get to the rim. You know, in our last opponents, we were able to get some easy stuff at the rim. Uh, they took all that away. Um, you know, we didn't get any points off turnovers in terms of like a steal right into an easy layup. Uh, those are points we've been used to getting. Newberry didn't give us that, uh, and that made us struggle a little bit. Um, but I really think, you know, our shooting percentage was poor. We got nothing inside out. You know, we weren't able to throw it in and get anything out. And when you're struggling like that, our whole goal in the first half was just to try to survive and, uh, and be close and within striking distance as we come into the second half. And, of course, they did just that. And uh, it was ugly. You know, for certainly a game we very easily could have lost. Uh, but in our scenario right now, you know, we feel very fortunate we've all got it here with them. Team stays undefeated, like you said, walking out with a win. Congratulations on the win, and thank you for your time. Thank you. Appreciate it.